Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be working on the $100 uh, John Deere AMT 600. So, the last video I went ahead and put these tires on there. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can go back and watch it. It's on the channel. Today what we're going to be doing is um, unboxing the motor I got for it, which is this Duromax 420. It's a 16 horsepower motor. Um, I also finally got a clutch for it got a clutch and a new belt so first thing I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this motor up and see if this clutch is gonna fit on there all right let's start by opening up this clutch um, bought this one off of eBay um, was a decent deal these are actually kind of spendy so I'm hoping it works uh, I did some research online with other people swapping these and they said that this worked on the on the motors so we'll see well there's the clutch came with those two a washer and a woodruff key set that right there Here's the bell. We don't need to open that yet. Sorry about the wind noise. It's pretty windy out here today. Go ahead and open up this motor. I've never ran this brand of motor. It seemed to be the you know, a good deal shipped. It was yeah, cheaper than I could have got a Predator for, so. Nice. Comes with this little funnel. That's the first thing I see. Owner's manual. All right, let's see. Might have to set this on the ground. Might just cut the box. This is what the top of the motor looks like. Hoping this fuel tank will work. Um, but we'll see Let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this on the ground and then I'll bring you guys back All right, so the whole bottom of the box is not taped or if the tape it's very weak So I went to lift it up after I cut the Straps these straps and it fell out and fell on the ground. Good thing. This is just a Wooden floor it doesn't look like it damaged it at all a little bit right there, but not very worried about that. So this is it, 16 horsepower, 420 cc's on an off switch. 30 way oil, interesting. Let's go ahead and pull this uh, shaft cover off and see if this clutch is gonna work. And then I'll have to figure out what kind of threads takes the shaft might have to cut this off there we go all right moment of truth that yeah, fits be spaced out I'm not sure I'm assuming it goes that way but let's see. Yeah. so that'll be the next challenge is trying to figure out how we're gonna secure that to the shaft let's see if this woodruff key works Pretty tight. I think I'll be able to get it to work, but there we go. We'll 
we'll work on that. Here's a spacer. Sure, that goes right there. Uh, if somebody comment down below which way is it supposed to go on. I'm pretty sure it's this way, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm not sure if this is going to work with this motor or not. We'll have to play with that. Let's see if um, Sonar's manual says anything about this shaft size, or I mean not shaft size, what uh, bolts it takes. Starting the engine. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to figure something out um, with this whole setup. Just sucks. Yeah, that does go in there. It's just almost too, like, it's almost flush with that. I think I'm gonna put a zip tie over this just so we don't lose that uh, woodruff key. So now I'm going to have to figure out what threads these are and how long of a bolt I'm going to need. Let me see if I have anything that will fit that. I'm not using this bolt, I'm just going to see if it's, yeah, it's too small. So, alright, well let's see if it's going to even fit in the... The frame of this so I think this plastic's just loose on here sides out Let's see. sides out I think we're just gonna have to slide it kind of I don't want to break this plastic there we go first time having that off wasn't bolted down or anything. Let's see here. I think it'll fit in here. Let's go ahead and um, go get the motor and see if it fits in here. This should hold this bed up. Alright, well that's holding it up, but I'm not going to go underneath of it. <laughs> so, this is the setup underneath. Transmission. It's the old belt. We use that for mock-up. It's in neutral right now. Probably get rid of all this old wire harness. We won't need any of that. Let's go grab that motor and see if it'll fit underneath those uh, frame rails. Let's 
gonna be tight. Might have to take all this wire harness off. I'm gonna set this bed down. I just don't want it to come crashing down. I don't think this is going to fit under this uh, frame rail. It's the vent for the gas tank. So it's hitting on that. The exhaust, the air filter, and the tank. Probably take this out. This is all part of the old motor, electronics and stuff. I think we'll just cut all that out of there real quick. What are those tens? I'm gonna try to set it in there a different way before I remove anything. This definitely is gonna have to go, so we might as well take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this old harness out of here. It's kind of useless to me. I don't know if any of it's any good anyway, so I'll probably just cut it. Should give us a little more room. Yeah, so we're not reusing any of this. I'm sure somebody could use it out there, but I don't know if it's any good. Got that. Those two wires. There we go. Try to. It's all crusty. We'll end up having to cut that out of there. Let's see if this gives us any more room. Try to squeeze this in there. more room on this side. We might have just enough room. take this heat cover off of this exhaust it'll give us a little more room I was hoping to use this tank to just be real convenient because who knows what the one in the back of this looks like and I don't want to have to run an electric fuel pump or anything but it looks 
looks like that's gonna have to come off to fit. So I could cut this seat mount out of here and re-put it in once I got the motor in. Hmm. Just having a moment here thinking if it's even worth it. Because the other idea I had was to cut the front of this off, turn it into a trailer to pull around with my quads. But, I've already bought this motor. I could put the motor in something else. I don't know. Why don't you guys uh, drop me a comment down below what I should do. Part of me wants to put this motor in here, but then part of me is like, is it even worth it? <laughs> you know? I don't know. All right, well, it's a little bit of a shorter video. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I think I might just turn it into a trailer. All right, thank you for watching.